Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The craziness of the footballers promo and all the content we are getting right now in FIFA 23 continues and so does the market crash. Prices continue to go down on a lot of areas of the market, but one specific area is losing people millions this weekend. I want to take a look at that and why that is happening. And also, we have to take a look at the content that could be coming out today on this game because EA just doesn't stop. We had another campaign player pick released yesterday to go along with the already mixed campaign 85 plus upgrade pack that we have. Now we have a player pick just in case you couldn't decide uh, how many of these you want to do. Now you can do these. As well. It's crazy, right? The content is like overwhelming almost, but with the content being as good as it is, we can still make a lot of coins with fodder. We're going to talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, start off the week right, hit the thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's just do a quick content overview from yesterday on Sunday. Yesterday might have been the quietest day yet, but it was still a really good day of content because we had that campaign player pick, which we'll talk about, and the day on Kulusevsky SBC. It was an 83 rated, it was an 82 with an inform and a Spurs player requirement, but it didn't make Spurs cards go up like the Liverpool requirements did earlier on in the week just because I think there's more Spurs players in that like 80 to 83 rating threshold so it didn't make those go up as much in price. Now for the Kulusevsky upgraded card, it's only 4 star, 4 star. I was hoping for the 5 star skills that would have made this card super OP but it looks really good, right? I love the dribbling stats once again. Pretty good looking card, not amazing, but pretty good. And today on Monday, we will be looking forward to the next player inside of the plate style. That is Oxlade Chamberlain backwards hat, AirPods in Oxlade Chamberlain dynamic image. So 95 dribbling stat, we can kind of guess how that's going to look. But I'm very curious to see how EA makes this card different today because it looks the worst out of all of these cards, in my opinion, in terms of stats, but they've got to do something special to spice that up. So we'll see if they do anything different today with that. But with the mixed campaign player pick that we had dropping yesterday on the game, it's literally the same player pick that we had last weekend on Sunday that we were surprised to see, right? It contains Road to the Final, Future Stars, and Centurions players. 130,000 coins to do. It was cheaper last week when fodder wasn't so expensive. Now here we are at 130k and only a 19% upvote. But I think really the reason why this is not upvoted as much is because you already have the 85 plus mixed campaign upgrade and that contains team of the year honorable mentions and fantasy cards uh sorry yeah fantasy foot players and winter wild cards which of course you do have the ones to watch and the out of position promo cards that are a part of this in my opinion this being 58,000 coins is something that i would rather craft with the menu and fodder grind right now in this game instead of the player pick especially knowing how the player pick was last week it wasn't that amazing um of course when it first dropped we got to do it twice last week but with that being said not everybody agrees because people are doing this player pick guys look at the 85 rateds which are specifically required in the new player pick from 14,000 coins yesterday we talked in yesterday's video about fodder going low with squad battle rewards, and that is exactly what happened. If you got on the bids or the snipes in the morning yesterday on Sunday, you had a great opportunity to pick up some really low prices on fodder, 82s all the way up to 85s, 86s, and these guys really spiked yesterday at content, right? 16, 17K for all these 85s. They're still maintaining a pretty high price. 84s, 83s, they're kind of back down low-ish again, but they did absolutely have their big spikes in price yesterday like we expected. You can see Mesa Mount was almost 8,000 coins on Sunday night, uh, or sorry, Saturday night, heading down into Sunday, down seven, 6,000 coins below 7K with the squad battle rewards, boom, and then spiking back up again to 8,000 coins with the content drop. The same thing is going to happen today. So these cards are not crashing on the market. Uh, of course, these SBCs are not making too many cards crash. There are a few that are down in value. I mean, look at this Phil Foden, right? He was just 220,000 coins for this Phil Foden. If you take a look at, at graphs, you can see some extra drops yesterday after the 6 p.m. content. Um, I do believe that a lot of that would have been caused by this new player pick SBC, especially if you take a look at like the Trent Centurions card. This is a card that I still have invested uh, for the links to all the Liverpool players. And this might be a card to watch today with um, Oxlade Chamberlain coming out, but look at the drop this card had from 270k, boom, straight down at content yesterday because this was one of the cards that was in the player pick and it's in the price range if people needed to sell a card from a team. Uh, maybe they sold a card like this to go do a couple of the player picks yesterday to 
get the Kulusevsky done. So this just kind of got hit a little bit extra worse uh, because it was in the player pick as well, right? With Centurions and uh, Future Stars and Road to the Finals being inside that player pick. So people are still doing this, even though it says 19% upvote. There's still a lot of demand for this and still prices are dropping because of that as the whole market seems to be dropping as a whole continually. Where's our gold Mbappe at? We look at gold Mbappe almost every video during a market crash because this is, like we've said, our barometer. Mbappe is 6 no shot. Is he 600K or under 600K? He is almost under 600K right now at 606. So um, this stuff is, it's just down bad, right? And could it come back a little bit? We'll talk about the potential of that uh, as a part of today's video as well. But speaking of cards that are down bad, people are losing millions on fantasy foot cards, guys. And when I mean millions, I mean, if you look at these card prices, I mean, we're talking drops of 20, 30 and I think Uba Makano at one point today was down 40% from the price that he was originally a couple of days ago. This guy now is 530,000 coins. He was 490 at his absolute lowest after Bayern lost. Why are these cards dropping so much? Because these clubs are not performing on the weekend. Okay, this first weekend before international break, which is now starting, they needed to perform to get upgrades in the short term before they go on this break and before these cards are still live, but they kind of go on like hiatus if you will, and there's no games being played that can upgrade them for a couple of days. So the teams that lost and the players that were on those teams that lost or didn't perform well are absolutely in the mud. Uv Makano and Fabian are probably the best two examples from yesterday. Of course, we had Ben Acer and other cards on Saturday that dropped down a lot as well. Fabian is 260,000 coins after he was 380k yesterday before PSG lost uh, to who did they lose to? Like uh, Stad Rene or something like that. You know, I don't even remember who it was, but they lost 2-0. Uh, and, you know, this guy came crashing down in price. Same thing with Eden Hazard, right? Real Madrid lost El Clasico yesterday. Hazard was down to 420K. He's now back up. I picked one up at 412K. So these cards are losing people millions of coins because if you invested at Upa Meccano in like 750 coins, 750,000 coins, you go play weekend league, kind of forget about the card and expect it to go up over time. And then all of a sudden you come back to the game and, and this is his price. This is the unfortunate reality and the unfortunate truth with these live cards is that they're just so volatile, you can lose a lot of coins. Scrinny R actually was not even named in the squad yesterday for the Inter Juve game. So he started dropping off even before the game started. He's down to 150K. Like, talk about a big drop off there 200,000 coins to 150K. That's such a big percentage of his price just kind of gone in thin air. And really what this is caused by is so many people have invested in these cards hoping for a rise, but knowing that the international break is upcoming, the market is dropping as a whole right now. All of those things combined. Wow, Ben Acer is back to 300K. That's really, really cheap um, for him as well. He was 330, 340 for most of the day. But all those things combined, it's making these cards drop. Seriously, like millions. Like look at Jota, 220,000 coins. It definitely doesn't help that we have had all of these Premier League attackers released this weekend, even with Luis Diaz coming out, Kulusevsky, um, but with Bamford specifically, and maybe Oxlade Chamberlain today can help this guy's price out a little bit because this is still a live card. This is going to be an insane investment at some point, just not yet because with international break upcoming, you know, some of these cards maybe you can look at as we head into foot birthday with all this panic that we have right now. When the international break comes at comes back, um, it would probably be at like foot birthday week two at the end of the month uh, when we're sitting here in a couple weeks from now. Now, you know, in a week and a half, start to look at these cards again, maybe even next week, because there might be opportunities for a longer term hold, um, even here pretty soon, potentially with some of these, depending on how the panic goes, because they've just dropped off so much in price. Even guys that haven't played any games, Ruben Diaz, like City haven't even played a game that count for any of his upgrades yet, and he's still down. Uh, he was 1.1 mil. He's still down like 140,000 coins. So it's just unfortunate, of course, but again, this is why we try to talk about live cards all the time because live cards have the potential to make you millions, but what they have a greater potential to do is lose you millions. And we knew that with this kind of setup and with the long wait with the international break afterwards, these cards were not going to be a super duper long hold which why we talked about selling in the hype, selling in the hype, selling in the hype. So I hope you guys did some of that and didn't get burned too much. Now, there are some success stories from these cards as well. Alexis Sanchez, right? And Isak are the two cards that are due upgrades and not just a plus one. They are due a plus 
too. And that's what I want to look through right now. We do have a lot of cards that are getting upgraded this week, and a lot of prices have actually gone up as well for these cards. Um, and we'll talk later on in the week, maybe what you should do with these. I don't know when they're getting upgraded, right? EA have not told us when. Mondays have been days when they've upgraded cards before, like remember once to watch Dybala, some of the price ranges were updated like last week or two weeks ago on a Monday. I would really be surprised if EA was this on top of it to have all of these upgrades programmed in to go live early today on a Monday. It's possible, but I do believe they would most likely upgrade these cards on Wednesday because that's, I believe, when they upgraded them last year as well on a Wednesday. Usually they, they do, um, you know, team of the week upgrades for once to watch cards and stuff like that on Wednesday. So, I would have to guess that the, these would go live then, but we will just have to see. So keep an eye on these because especially for Alexis Sanchez, I mean, this guy's getting a plus two, right? He's going from a 90 to a 92 since he scored two goals and they won yesterday. He's going to be a team of the season level car. I literally tweeted out yesterday saying, Tots is coming early with this guy. I was able to pick one up um, for 629,000 coins after the game, after people saw uh, them win the game. His price was up, but I went out and I picked one up because I was like, man, this guy is worth more than 629,000 coins with a double upgrade. It's literally the same situation uh, that um, that Isak had earlier in the weekend. So that's why I went out and I picked him up because Isak went up earlier. And I was like, you know what? I think Alexis Sanchez is going to do the same thing. And he has. He's 690K. Probably going to keep holding on to this card. For all the ones that are up, I think that for all the cards that are getting upgrades, I would believe that they should probably continue to slowly rise into this week. Since the weekend is over, all the games are over. I have a Harry Cool like I've talked about. Wow, that's a really low price for Harry Cool. I mean, I bought this guy at 960, and that's the only card that's below like 990k sitting right there. But you know, I think these cards are going to slowly rise up into the upgrade time frame this week, right? Emre Chan is another one that I'm holding on to because he's getting a plus one, even though he didn't even appear in the game this weekend. He's still 300,000 coins. He was 330 before the game. He's going to an 87. So I'm still holding some of these cards, but a lot of people have lost coins because the selling and the hype aspect is just so, so key with these cards. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're also really good to trade with, right? I bought a Saliba post-Arsenal game yesterday. Arsenal won 4-1. to one. Saliba didn't play because he was injured. This card dropped off over 120,000 coins post-game. I bought this for 960. Right now, he's about up, up about 100K from then. He's getting a plus one. Uh, sometime this week when he gets upgraded, he's going to go to a 90 for Arsenal getting that win. So that's why I picked his card up. So I am trading with a lot of these cards right now. It's been tough. I've lost coins on some of them too. Uh, like Fabian is kind of, I bought a couple at like 265 and then one at 280 earlier on when he was first dropping. And now he's down to about 260K. So it's risky trading with these guys, but it also can be very big money. So just watch out with those upgrades this week and look to sell into the hype if their prices continue to rise there. But yeah, man, those cards are losing people millions, but that's how live cards work. It's all about timing and it's all about the hype with these cards, right? Because without the upgrades and without the hype of the upgrades, uh, these cards are just kind of like normal promo cards and their prices drop off a lot. Case in point with some of the road to the finals that have dropped off in previous days as well. So be very careful with those cards, but for the market in general, like we looked at yesterday uh, or with the way the market was impacted yesterday, you are still seeing prices kind of slowly going down. It's not panic selling all the time. It's not huge percentage drops everywhere. Um, it's just kind of like a slow drip, if you will. And these cards just kind of keep just going down in price little by little every single day. It's a little bit more for most of them, especially some of the out of pack specials. Now, could today flip the script? I think there's a potential for today on a Monday to have a little bit of a market rise. But again, guys, here's what I would just try to tell you. I know that I'm trading with a few of these fantasy foot cards and a couple of these I'm talking about and buying and flipping. It is risky to be doing this stuff. The best way to be trying to make coins on the market right now is to not touch cards like this because there, there's not as much demand for them right now. All the demand right now is for the objectives, playing squad battles with whatever teams you need to get those assists, to get those goals. You know, draft, there's even objectives for that right now so there's maybe not as much demand for the rivals or for the foot champ side of things right now maybe that could change later on this week we'll have to see um, but with all that objective grind and the menu grind for the upgrade packs that is happening that is just hurting cards everywhere and so if that's where the demand is 
that's where you want to be trading in as well. The market right now is just primed for fodder. And you guys know this, right? Fodder prices are crazy, crazy high. We've talked about this. What we talked about in yesterday's video about buying fodder and listing it for lazy. You saw my transfer list, right? I had uh, a couple 84 rated cards that sold for 8.9K a piece. I bought those 84s yesterday um, right around right here. I bought them right here. Like a couple hours before content, I was just getting on some bids, getting on some snipes. I was buying two of every card, putting one in the club, putting one on the transfer list. And then like, look at this man. Like, uh, yes, they had a spike yesterday at content, but they're back down again, guys. Weekend league rewards, a little bit of tradable supply yesterday from the packs inside of that uh, mixed campaign player pick is bringing fodder back down again. 83s, 84s, 85s. If you can get 85s at like 14K, I think that's baller. If you can get 82s at 1.2K, I think Think that's baller 83s at three and under 84s in the low sixes i'll even pay six and a half k i'm literally about to go through right now all these cards again and do a transfer list and a club stock because i used some fodder yesterday i want to be doing some sbcs today and yes i'm going to spend coins on this because what you can do and i hope it happens here on the video uh but i've got a bunch of these cards that i've listed up my fodder right you can see right here i, I have a lot of them listed at like eight to nine thousand coins at all different prices and they're expiring here in the next minute or two so i'm very curious to see if any of these guys will, if I'll catch a lazy sale, but I'm going to continue the club stock because again, all you have to do with these cards is buy them on a low point, which is where we are right now, list them up for lazies and you will be making coins later on. This is what I do. I go through and buy two of them, right? Vlahovic, one goes in the transfer list and one goes into the club because I have not purchased him yet. And boom, I'm going to make a couple thousand coins on the Vlahovic that I put on the transfer list. And you know what? I'll maybe use the one that I put in the club or sell that one as well. Ch Chalhano glue, 6,500 coins, bang. I'm not going to spend the time to go through and get on a bunch of bids. If you want to and you want to go unassigned, that is fantastic. Informs as well. I believe all informs right now are selling for like 14 or 15,000 coins. So this is something that, or yeah, it's about 14K. If you have club stocked informs during this entire year, um, it is a fantastic time uh, to be listing those up. And I think when we talk about all informs selling for like 14, 15K, all informs, regardless of rating, are like selling within minutes for 13K. But really, what you want to look for are your informs that are above like 83 to 84 rated, because some of these SBCs have requirements in there for some higher rated informs. And so if you're getting on bids, maybe right now, this might actually might be a good time to pick up a couple Pavards, probably a couple of Sergio Asensios, like 13K. These are current we, current team of the week cards that are probably pretty good to pick up right now um, that we could sell for higher later on this week because a lot of these SBCs inside of here too have inform requirements. Uh, case in point is the SBC yesterday, the mixed campaign. You've got an inform requirement in the 85 rated squad. So probably your 84, 85 rated informs are moving a good bit in there. And it's just about buying those, getting those on bids, listing them for lazy sales, and their prices should creep up a little bit as we head throughout the week. It's not really about investing at this point, right? It's about buying and just listing them up on the market because there is so much demand for that side of the game this week. But if you're just trading in general, whether it's with fodder, whether it's with icons, it's uh, out of packs cards, just make sure you keep the flips really quick, right? Keep it to quick flips because I've gotten burned a couple times this weekend where I've held on to a card for too long thinking that Jota can go back up about 10, 20 more thousand coins from where I have him at because, you know, he links to Luis Diaz, right? He's going to go up. And what has this guy done? He has just dropped even further down. 220,000 coins. I had to take a 50,000 coin loss on one of the Jotas that I bought earlier today, or not earlier today, earlier this weekend. I could have sold it yesterday. Um, instead of losing 50K, I've, I could have lost 10 K, but here we are. I lost 50 K and now I have to try to make that back up. So that's the kind of market that we're in right now. Don't hold cards for very long. Keep it to quick flips. And we could see the market kind of flip a switch today. Um, that's why I would say if there are any cards, like I pointed out that Ben Asser, that is really low at the moment at 300,000 coins. If I had coins right now for 300K, I would probably go out and try to pick one of these up, even though he's not getting an upgrade. The fact that he was holding at 340,000 coins after Milan lost over the weekend is a really good sign for me on this card. Emre Chan being the same price and he's getting an upgrade. Um, there was even, oh, Papan. Some of these hero cards, I feel like these guys are sleepers because they're getting plus ones. Papan is getting a plus one and his price is literally the exact same for what it was. Let me double check this, but I'm pretty sure he's the exact same price that he was pre-game. 
yesterday before Marseille won the game, right? He was 230s, right? He peaked up at 240, and he's getting a plus one, guys. Like, Papan is literally getting a plus one. You know, maybe the um, all the SBC objective, the striker guys and the attackers right now are hurting Papan's value a little bit. Uh, but he's getting a plus one this week because they want Morientes is 169 after the Madrid loss. He's down bad. Di Natale um, is literally the same price that he was during the week. I know he dropped down really low on Saturday. Um, went down to 1.9 and spiked to 2.2. He's getting an upgrade, right? Make sure I'll put a link down below in the description to this tracker. If you don't know who's getting upgrades this week for a win, uh, for a goal, Kewl is getting an upgrade, right? Like we talked about. Angel Gomez, one of our SBC guys, um, is getting an upgrade. If I could find him, I might just have to control F. Uh, Angel Gomez. But he is getting an upgrade for the win. So that's a nice SBC upgrade there. Trimmel, like there's so many guys. So many guys are getting upgrades. So I expect to see those on a Wednesday. Could they come earlier? They could, but I wouldn't expect it unless EA have a nice little surprise in there for us today as well. Now, last thing, what's going to happen today for content? It's probably just going to be that Oxlade Chamberlain SBC. Last week on Monday, we did have the 83 times 10. Um, and we all did it like a couple times a day. And it was fun, right? Now, I just don't know if we're going to get an 83 times 10. We have an 83 double, an 85 mix, the 82 times 20, another campaign player pick, the 75 times 5, which, by the way, I'm hearing reports that the 75 times 5 is very good. Um, and that I am sleeping on the 75 times five. And one of my plans for this week is to take you take through on stream. I'm going to do this. I'm going to rinse as many of my silver commons that I have into this pack. And I will be um, turning those in to get the common golds, which I will put into the 75 times five, which I'll hopefully turn in some fodder. And that fodder will hopefully turn into, you know, it's a couple 83 doubles, some 85 mixed campaign upgrades, just some fun stuff like that. So I'm going to take part in the menu grind this week as well and have some fun with that this week on the stream. But I just don't know if we're going to get too much else besides Oxley and Chamberlain today. The only outside shot that we maybe have is Monday's sometimes EA start swaps programs. So I'd say there's like just a minute chance that we could start learning about foot birthday swaps because that car design is in the code and we haven't seen too much of anything to do with it yet. But maybe that's going to change soon. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video to start off the week. Happy Monday, and I uh, hope you have a great start to your week. But if you enjoyed today, again, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you on the Twitch stream today. It's been Nate's account, and catch you guys later. Peace out.